too many producers leave their fields bare and think they're doing the right thing. Really, that's one of the most detrimental things you can do for soil life. And so what we're trying to do on our operation is to regenerate the soils by planting these diverse cover crop mixes and then grazing them with ultra high stock densities, short amount of time, rest, recovery. If I work with nature instead of against it, she's supplying everything I need. And since the land's getting healthier, the cattle are getting healthier. I don't have the sick ones like I used to. They're scientists in action. So they're managing their land very adaptively. They're doing tests and collecting data to figure out what works on, on their farm. Farmers and ranchers say that they're seeing more carbon on their landscapes, that they're seeing other really positive ecosystem benefits. But we couldn't find the scientific literature or enough of it, a critical mass of it, to really uh, support these findings. There's anecdotally some very interesting evidence from ranchers that have implemented a change and seen a positive result in their case. But I really don't think the science is out there to evaluate that on a larger scale and to look at the mechanisms that, that lead to those results. Science, getting money and publishing is a hard deal anyway. And when you think differently and you're trying to do things in a systems manner rather than a reductionist manner, it just makes it a bit more difficult. The innovators have so little scientific support. I want to help the next generation of farmers and ranchers advance how we produce our food beyond what we're doing right now.